Stone walling is a bit like uh, doing a jigsaw puzzle without a box lid to see what you're supposed to be doing. It's, it's fantastic, it gets you out in the fresh air, it's good fun and it's a challenge. You look at a stone, you think, ah that's right for the bit I'm working on and it goes clunk into place and if you've got it right it's just tremendously satisfying. You are completely focused on what you're doing. You've no time to think about your worries, what's happening at home, what's happening at work. It's just completely absorbing and that's what I like about it. And it's outdoors and you see lots of interesting things, you meet lots of interesting people. You work with people who are total beginners, you work with master craftsmen. The Stone Walling Association was formed to basically to, to keep a rural skill alive and to set standards and encourage entrance to the profession because it was a skill that could have been lost in these days of, of post and wire fences and hedges everywhere. Central Branch runs oh, about 20 projects in the average year plus four or five beginners training courses. Nobody nowadays wants a, a flower bed that's just got flowers in it. They want a raised bed with nice stone. It's got that lovely aesthetic look, or a bridge, or a pillar, or a nice curved wall into your gateway. So there's a lot of, most dikers nowadays are involved in that. There's not so much agricultural diking. I was very used to walls in the west of Ireland, which were amazing because the stones are absolutely round. And I always wondered how they managed to build those walls. So when I came over here, uh, I met some people who said, go on a training course. So I went on a training course and I ended up building walls and that's it. It's great. Mm -hmm.